Welcome back, LHS. I'm Millie. And I'm Mage. And this is your Blue Devil, Devil News. The library is once again closed today. Teachers direct any urgent technological needs to Mr. Sheely. Over the weekend, Ms. Wilson and Mr. Shrum took 38 students, including BDN's own Lucas Bula, to the Model United Nations Conference in Murfreesboro. Two resolutions from LHS were selected to be on the General Assembly docket, and one was passed. This year's spring musical is Beauty and the Beast. Auditions are November 28th and 29th, the Monday and Tuesday after Thanksgiving break. Monday will be individual voice auditions, and students will choose one song from Beauty and the Beast and one musical theater piece of their choice to perform. Tuesday's auditions will be group choreography. Students will learn the dance at the audition. Callbacks will be Thursday, December 1st. Hosa will be selling socks to raise money to provide a prosthetic leg in, for a child in need. The socks can be bought in rooms C305 and C306, or you can order online. The LHS canned food drive is underway and runs through this Friday the 18th. The three classes with the most food collected will earn prizes. Each teacher is collecting food and the winning teachers will choose one of their classes to receive the awards. Please do not donate any glass, expired food, or ramen noodles. FCA is putting together shoe boxes for children in need around the world. Teachers, visit the link Ms. Tyler emailed out for more information. LHS Band's Winter Guard will have an informational meeting today. The Winter Guard combines dance choreography with the sabers, rifles, and flags of Color Guard. This meeting will be held in the auditorium at 345. No prior experience is required. Now let's check in with Charlie May for the weather. Thanks, guys. There was a drastic drop in temperatures this weekend with this week's high being 51 degrees and today's low being 24. The wind is 5 miles per hour and tomorrow there's a high of 50 and a low of 38. There is also some showers moving in with an 80% chance of rain. Back to y'all. Thanks, Charlie May. In local news, Nashville's Zoo... Nashville Zoo's Zoo is returning again this year, bigger and better than ever. There are over a thousand new, brand new lanterns this year. It is the largest, the country's largest Chinese lantern festival, and it starts on November 18th. Today in 1889, New York World reporter Nellie Bly began her attempt to surpass the fictitious journey of Jules Verne's Phileas Fogg by traveling around the world in under 80 days. She succeeds finishing up the trip in 72 days and 6 hours. And in 1908, Albert Einstein presented his quantum theory of light. Now to Evan for sports. Thanks, y'all. We tip off our basketball season against the Cane Ridge Ravens tomorrow in Antioch. Girls start at 6, and the boys play right after. Our football season has come to a heartbreaking end after a hard fall loss at Oakland. Bowlers Andy Romer and Cameron Farmer head to the TSSAA Individual State Tournament in Smyrna this January. The Titans beat the Denver Broncos yesterday 17-10. Ryan Tannehill left the Titans with 255 passing yards and two touchdowns. The Titans head to Green Bay to take on Aaron Rodgers and the Packers this Thursday at 7.15. That's all I have for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Seven. That's all we have for you today, LHS. I'm Millie. And I'm Mage. And this has been the news to you from, from the, the White and Blue. Blue.